I'm still looking for good fantasy. Let's see if I found it in The Lies of Locke Lamora by Scott Lynch. I chose this book because I was told that it was a fantasy anti-hero novel with some slight steampunk elements in it. And right off the top, I'll say my favorite thing was the setting of this book. It has this amazing world where the inhabitants of this place live amongst the ruins of an ancient civilization that has somehow built these massive towers hundreds of feet tall out of a magical glass and they constructed all these structures and, and everything out of this glass bridges and other buildings and so they're living in this world that was previously inhabited by an unknown race and that creates such an interesting setting that leaves you really curious about the race that inhabited this place. Besides that, it's a somewhat typical Dickensian city where you have the slums and then you have the even worse slums and then there's the even worse slums. And in terms of the setting of the main characters here, we're in kind of a dark and poverty stricken place. The story itself, the narrative, was quite fun and interesting. It kept me interested for sure throughout the book and ultimately led up to quite an exciting climax. Hey look, George R. R. Martin says it's a fresh, original, and engrossing tale by a bright new voice. There you go. So setting was interesting, story was exciting, the writing for the most part was great, but ultimately I'm not going to finish the other six books of the Gentleman Bastard sequence, of which Scott Lynch has written two others so far, I believe. I think there are four books in this planned series that are as yet unwritten. So there are a few reasons going from, I guess, probably least important to most important. One time in this entire book, Scott Lynch uses the adjective niggardly. And in a fantasy book about a fantasy race, it is so weird and jarring to see that single word used in this book that it immediately changed the tone of how I felt about the book. It was only used once, but just seemed so inappropriate and out of place. Secondly, while you do sort of feel for the main characters, they do make their living as thieves, and for the most part, it's a slightly Robin Hood-ish thing where they're targeting the wealthiest and taking money from the rich. But there are times in the story when they are tricking even the less rich folks into giving them money out of sympathy and charity. And that kind of stuff is just not that pleasant to read about for me. And then lastly, as with so many other fantasy authors, it seems like Scott Lynch doesn't know what a female character is. I mean, he does have a handful of secondary and tertiary female characters in the lives of Locke Lamora, but all of the main characters are male. And it just makes for a slightly more one-dimensional story. If there were one or two more books in this series, I might consider carrying on and giving it a try. But I don't think I have six more books in me of this style. Maybe you would enjoy it though. Maybe these are more minor issues for you. And you would find the setting and the narrative fairly engrossing. I don't know. But for me, I'll probably get back to my favorite fantasy author again, Guy K. And see what I end up reading from him next. Hey, Josh here, just wanting to thank you for sticking around right through to the end of the video. If you want to support me, you can give me a thumb up on the video. It would be great if you would share this video with one book lover in your life. And I'll see you next time. Cheers. That really leaves you curious about... That leaves you really curious about the... That really leaves you curious about this race that lived here before the current... Mr.
So we're going, oh yeah. So s writing for the most part was pretty. Was, there are a few reasons. 